guys, Steph here. Okay, now, I still receive numerous messages from people saying to me, Steph, how do I buy one of your pens? Nice and simple. What I do, I send out, well, I do lots of pen haul videos um, when I receive pens from my pen hunts. And from them videos, I receive numerous emails, uh, numerous messages from on social media. And people say to me, nice and simple, Steph, I saw that particular pen in your pen haul. Is it available? And the answer is rather, no, it's not. It's been reserved. Or, yes, it is. It's available. And in this particular case, I had, well, just to, sh just to give you an example, um, I had a customer that contacted me on social media and he said, well, there were actually two pens that he was interested. He sent me a message, sorry, a message and said, is this pen available? Okay, so there you can see it in my previous pen haul. Okay, and the answer to his message was yes it's available and here's the pen in question it's a parker 50 falcon um, comes in this matte black with chrome trim this one is also known as the parker 50b or in some cases t X. Now this particular one was made in USA, nice and simple, it's dated 1980. The size of it, around about 130 millimeters cut. Um, it's got a tapered barrel, so at the thickest end it's approximately 10.5 millimeters in diameter. Absolutely gorgeous pen. Now, if I take the cap off, show you the pen in little different angles now the interesting things about these particular pens the falcons nice and simple is the nib there you go you can see it's got this long integrated nib um, including the section and then it tapers up towards this gorgeous sort of stainless steel chrome nib to the top there Okay, there's a sideways view. There's the feed underneath. Absolutely lovely. So these Parker Falcons, they've all got this large or sort of elongated uh, integrated nibs. Now the Parker 50s came in numerous different colours, different trim etc. Um, but as I say, this one being the matte black, and as I said to the customer, yes, it's available, subject to restoration. Now, it didn't need a lot. We've just cleaned everything. It's a cartridge converter fountain pen. So the gentleman said, yes, I'll have that. I'll reserve that if you don't mind. So it was reserved for him. Okay. Now, he also asked about this particular pen here okay you can see it's a largish pen um, as you can see quite sort of dirty it was very it was there's quite a few scratches on it it was tired the clip was missing etc um, so it needed a little bit of TLC so after the TLC here we have the pen in question and this pen in question for you people that don't know is the Parker Dufold Maxima fountain pen and it's dating from the late 1950s they introduced it around about 1958 it's a large pen um, it's 143 millimeters capped around the diameter it's a lovely 12 millimeters in diameter if we show you the the barrel imprint there let's keep it nice and nice and still for you I think it reads Parker Maxima does it say made in England I can't quite remember but there you go you can see the barrel imprint nice and clear 
So as I say, it's a Parker Maxima. This was actually the flagship pen of the Dufold or the UK Dufold pens of that particular period. It's got this quite a large uh, cap band with a chevron pattern. Um, recognisable Parker clip there, as you can see, with a black black jewel there. And if we unscrew it for you, give you a couple of little twirls. And again, the nice thing about these pens, the Maximas, okay, if we show you the nib here, it's got this lovely large Parker number 50 nib. And you can see it's got this sort of like inlaid arrow onto the nib there as well. Absolutely gorgeous nibs. There's a sideways view. There's the feed underneath this, what we term as a ladder feed. Everything is lovely and clean. Absolutely gorgeous, handsome fountain pen. And this one is what we term as an aerometric filling system. So, in stunning condition, having been fully disassembled, cleaned, restored, we've removed all the scratches. Uh, we've cleaned it up etc so everything is absolutely gorgeous so there we have it we've got two pens that are now ready to go to the customer nice and simply because he inquired he asked me whether they were actually available and well lucky him because some cases they get snapped up quite quickly both pens were available and both pens will be going in the post this morning so they'll be in the post this morning to him so there basically that's how people buy pens from me they make an inquiry ask me if it's available we restore the pens we inform the person when it's ready um, and basically we then ship the pen to the customer and what I'll do because what I'm going to do is hopefully, as I say, they're going to be in the post today, so we won't actually upload this video maybe till tomorrow, maybe the next day. We'll wait for the customer to receive the pens and hopefully um, he'll confirm that he's received the pens and we'll get a little bit of feedback from him to see what he thinks about the pens and if he's happy or not. So when people say to me, how do I buy one of your pens, Stefan? That's basically it. If in doubt, ask. Um, but for now, from, well, from these two gorgeous pens and me, don't forget, subscribe, leave a comment below, give the video a thumbs up. Um, I'll just simply say, Slabo Kriini, and also, bye-bye from me.